go. Hi, good morning. How are you? Okay, everyone, we are live. <laughs> We're doing it old fashioned way because our internet wasn't working. <laughs> Here we go. Alright. I don't hear anything. They don't. What's up, what's up, Milwaukee and the world? Welcome to another episode of Saint and the City on 101.3 FM with your girl, Iberia. www.ikjjradio.org. Yes, you're locked into the right spot. Be sure to like me on, like me on Facebook at Saved and the City. Join my group on Facebook to stay connected. Just search Saved and the City Radio Show. Follow me on Instagram at Saved and the City. Follow me on Twitter at Saved and the City. If you like what you're hearing, spread the word to your friends and family to tune in. I absolutely could use your support, both monetarily and just with some love and prayers. If you do want to donate to the show to help keep us on the air, you can just visit www.savedandthecitymke.com. Oh my God, I got a website! So it's still going through a couple different changes and all of that type of stuff. So if you go there, you might still see a couple things that need to be arranged, but it is up and in full effect. Shout out to Mima's Kitchen. Oh my God, that's also my mama, y'all. Patronize her this holiday. <laughs> she has got all the cakes that you need. Caramel cakes, red velvet cakes, anything that you like. Just go ahead and give her a call at 414-418-0616. Again, that's 414-418-0616. Make sure you place your holiday order today. Pastor Peach, like we used to do. Shout out to Mr. Anderson right next door. Uh, to our studio on 78th and Appleton. Today is Wednesday, which means it is 50 Cent Queen Drummies, which is each and every Wednesday. Give them a call at 414-393-0992. It's always dinner time, seven days a week from 11.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Like their page for weekly and seasonal specials. Or visit them at www.pastapease.us to learn more. Shout out to Luminosity Enterprises, LLC, for all your marketing support. Power Forward Media, CE, Taz Kind of Styles. I don't know if y'all saw me last week, but this is the same hair, y'all. She just cut it. She gave me a little bob. So you can, you can flip it up and switch it up every now and again. So shout out to Taz Kind of Styles. She's from Atlanta to Milwaukee, back and forth. So make sure you follow her on Instagram for all of her contact information and traveling dates. Happy birthday, Amar. We definitely want to uh, send you some love right here from Saving the City. We appreciate you. Without you and Mike McGee and Pastor Hill, we wouldn't have this platform. So we thank you so much. Um, so definitely much love from the 101.3 FM family. Oh, my God. It's been an amazing week, and I've saw, seen some amazing things. And before we jump into my amazing guest that we have today, did y'all see some folks walking down Fond du Lac with some machine guns? I said, ma'am, sir, what, what's going on? And initially when I saw it, you know, it, I had a weird feeling and I definitely want to do maybe a live after the show so we can kind of talk about how people feel about an organization called the Revolutionary Black Panthers who happen to be in our city. I had a weird feeling about it. Like initially when I saw them walking down the street, I was nervous because hello, machine guns. <laughs> But then I saw them with, uh, you know, the, the red, black, and green flag. And in a strange way, I kind of felt protected and safe. And then I just, you know, then when I heard some of the chanting and the different things they were saying, I was just like, ah, but do we have to go about it that way? You know, so there's so many mixed emotions with it. So I'm definitely interested in what you guys think about that. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. Maybe we'll do, like I said, a live after the show if that's something that you guys are interested in. But yes, you guys are locked right in where you need to be, saved in the city each and every Wednesday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. And the topic for today is money, 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 money. And I thought it was so fitting and so appropriate because we're right around the holiday seasons, pe season, people are, are spending like never before. And then also, we're about to come on, uh, up on tax season. So I said, you know what, let me 
go in my pocket. Let me go in my, my mental Rolodex. Who I know who know about money? And so Pastor Cheryl popped up in my mind because I was part of an organization called SOAR. And uh, she was actually one of the mentors and one of the people that came to talk to us about um, some of the topics that we were dealing with as women. But in all honesty, when you're dealing with money, that's what we're dealing with as people. I don't care if you're white, black, male, female, whatever the thing, you have to deal with money. So without further ado, I would love to introduce you guys in Radio Land <laughs> to Pastor Cheryl McMurtry. How are you feeling this morning? I am feeling awesome. Yes, yes. I'm so glad that you're here. Um, so why don't you start by telling the people a little bit about yourself and about what you do. Well, my name is Cheryl McMurtry, as um, Randy shared with us, and I'm a Chicago native, so your girl from next door, <laughs> yes. and um, I moved to Milwaukee because I um, graduated from college as an accounting major, and so I got a job with what was known as First Star Bank, now okay. U.S. Bank, mm -hmm. and um, have had almost a 24-year career in accounting and have launched out a few years ago on my own, started my own accounting firm, mm -hmm. McMurtry mm -hmm. Financial Services, That's LLC, awesome. mm -hmm. and um, also... Um, is, I'm the treasurer of our church. Yes. Um, Shout out to the church world outreach, world outreach and Bible center. Services. Center. Right. Right. We right, took the right. Bible training. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> world outreach center. Yes. Um, pastors Irvin and Melva Henderson. Mm -hmm. And um, so, just love to work with individuals, um, small businesses, nonprofit organizations on money management yeah. and their financials. Do you know bookkeeping and record keeping, tax filings and just helping train and develop yeah. and hopefully everybody will end up with a little bit more money in their pocket. Well, that's awesome. And you know, if you know, I can speak from from this section of people because I'm a part of them. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately in the African American community, there are a lot of people who are just uneducated as it pertains to how to manage money. You know what I mean? Right. And and so if that's not a part of your upbringing, you know what I mean? Right. So right. what how do you begin that process of not just spending friv frivolously because I have it, especially also when we're dealing with media who set, who, who tells us that we need to have on this and we need to drive that and that's what um, signifies our level of importance. How do we begin that if that is not a part of our upbringing? Right. Well, I think it's first just not wanting to stay or be the way you are. Yeah. It's like you get tired of being broke. Yeah. You know, and once you realize, you know, I don't want to be like this anymore. Yeah. Then you just start looking to find information. Yeah, yeah. Who out there can kind of tell me, get me, you know, some information about how I can change. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so, you know, you start digging around, doing research. With the internet, you can find this information yes. very easily. This nowadays. is a whole new day and age. And I was yes. going to say that. And, and that's the thing. Really, a lot of times people, whatever it is, when you're trying to start a new venture or, or change, you know, turn a new leaf, I think is what people say, a lot of times people feel like you have to be prepared and ready. Right. You just have to have a willing heart. And right. somehow, you know, I say it's the Lord. Um sends you what you need. Some people say the universe turns to you or, you know, whatever they say. But really, when you start seeking, right. you really do find. You really do it, find. It is there, especially in right. this day of day and age where information is everywhere. It's everywhere. And you brought yeah. up a good point. I don't want to be this way. God, lead me to the resources. Lead me to the information that yeah. I need. Yeah. And you'll find that your steps are ordered. Yeah. And all he's looking, he wants that for you more than you do. He doesn't want you And you broke. know, you know what, what just popped in my mind? Cause it takes me back to who was, I don't know if it was, no, that was uh Chantel. We did. I have a dream, but it was some, Oh, I think it was Claude, Claude McFarland, who was my guest last week. We were talking about behind the mask. Yes. And I think that before we can even begin healing in our finances, because there right. has to be a healing that there takes does. place. There are generational, generational curses that we yes. have to break of poverty. We have to deal with the reality that you really are broke. Right. Some people don't even realize it. <laughs> right. You know, like right. you drive because your car is, you know, look yes. a certain way. Or maybe you looking fabulous. Right. But when you go home. That's that's the person you need to deal with in the mirror. Right. When you're shuffling and saying, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, which bill do I pay this wow. week? Wow. And I'll pay the minimum. Right. You right. know, and like, right. you know, I'll just pay the minimum for that. So how did you um, become financially aware and under, you know, in that understanding? And do right. you teach that to your family? I'm sure you do. Yes. Well, one, I made mistakes. There we go. Made mistakes, found myself in, you know, because you're, 
educated and have a degree in accounting, mm-hmm. that's a skill set that you can do for somebody else yeah. and not utilize it for yourself. Yeah. You can walk around a little delusional because you're looking good and yeah. you got stuff. You know, but getting between a rock between a rock and a hard place yeah. a couple of times and realizing this isn't this doesn't match me. You know, yeah. this ain't the life I'm trying to live. Yeah. I had to then begin to search out scripture, search out information, apply yeah. the skill that I had been trained to do Absolutely. into my own personal situation mm-hmm. and really work my way out of it. And so mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's not necessarily you didn't get in that place overnight. Yeah. So you don't come out of it overnight. Yeah, I love that. It's a process. Yep, yeah, it's a process. To each and everything, there's a process. Right. Um, so the other part of it, so let's talk about the process. Right. Let's talk about that, especially right. as believers. We are on Save the City. That's what I love is that we can, you know, actually right. go there. So because of it being a process, um, let's talk about some of those aspects of the process. One of those things is tithing. Yes, it And is. giving. Yes, the law. Giving. There's a law of reciprocity. Talk yes, about that. yes. Sowing and reaping in the book of Genesis, um, the Lord said, as long as the earth remaineth, there's seed time and harvest yes, time. Yes, yes, yes. And so that's the law of reciprocity, mm-hmm. sowing and reaping. Mm-hmm. The mm-hmm. law of reciprocity says... If you sow, the opposite action that goes along or accompanies sowing mm-hmm. is reaping. That's good. And so if you want to increase, if you want to reap, if you want to gain, you have to give. Yeah. And so that process, and, and a lot of times you're looking and saying, I'm the one in need. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, <clears throat> there's a lot of ways to sow. You start yeah. with what you have. Mm-hmm. In the Old Testament, you know, Elijah went as a prophet to the one with a woman's house, you yeah. know, and she thought, Okay, we about to eat this last bit of meal, and me and my son yeah. are going to die. Well, that's good. I love that story. And he said, well, what's in your house? Mm. What do you have? Mm-hmm. What can you, what can you mm-hmm. sow? And if you just release it by faith, looking to God, who is our source for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Lord, if I do this, if I begin to step out in the thing that you've established in the earth, sowing and reaping, if I sow this, I'm believing that harvest reaping has to come to me. And so it's more about your faith level and then matching the action with what you believe. Yeah. And if you just step out and begin, he always meets us right where we are. And I I can attest to that. You know, something that popped in my mind when you said that is, um, I don't know where it was. Uh, There was a a, a minister, I wish I could call his name, but this was years ago. He preached... um, this message called heaven in my heart and in my pocket too. (laughs) And I honestly was a little turned off by the mess, the, the the title until I listened. And I was like, Oh, wait a minute. And then uh, I was like, in my pocket, I don't have it in my pocket. What do you mean? But literally he started to talk about what money really was. He said, money is just your, and I might mess it up a little bit, but he says, your time Mm -hmm. is your energy and it's your talents in tangible form. Right. And I always call them, your yeah. time, your talents, and your treasure. And your treasure. Ooh, I love yeah. that. So your money yeah, is your yeah. treasure, you know? And so, yeah, you look to say, what do I have? If yeah. I don't have actual money to yeah. sow, do I have some time? Do I have some time? Do I, I have, have some, some talents, skills, some skills? Something to sow. And then he begins to bless that and he multiplies it. You don't just give back what you gave. Yeah. He always multiplies it first and gives it back to Ooh. us. And we press always, down. Yeah. Shake it together. together. <laughs> Run it over. And we also have to be conscious of seeing where God is blessing. Yes. You know, sometimes yes. we feel like, oh, you know, I still don't have any more money in the bank. But is favor working for you? Are you still mm-hmm. eating? Oh, the, oh, child. We were just talking about right. that. I'm telling you, I don't look like yeah. I don't look like what's in my bank account. I'm right. telling. Well, or, or maybe I do. Right. Maybe I just don't have the the account number to the the account with the billions. Exactly. I can't even talk about the billions. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but seriously, because it favor. Right. I'll waste finance in the day. So build relationships. Right. Um, and beyond the relationships that you're trying to build with people, just build your relationship with God. I guarantee you, he will open the doors and show you exactly where you need to go. And wherever God is, there's provision. Pastor Cheryl, I'm so glad that you're here. We're going to come back. We're going to talk to you in a little bit more. But you guys know exactly what time it is. Yes. It means that now is the time for the Word Up Challenge. Oh, my God. So I need you guys to give me a scripture. 
Give me a scripture on anything pertaining to money, anything pertaining to tithing, anything pertaining to um, wealth, how to get wealth, or anything like that. And we will be right back uh, after this. Let's go to the first song, A.D. All right, guys, so we're going to stay live. Oh, thanks to Pity. <laughs> we're going to stay live while this is happening, and then I'm going to have you move out past the Okay, great, great. And then Antoine, you can head on over. Hey, you got it working, Dave Jones. You, you got it working. The music. <laughs> so, um, this is, this is the first, this is Mighty. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, so you know. Of course. <laughs> you're here. I feel like it's a superstar. Come on, oh, Black yeah. Nation. Yes, yeah. Black Nation. So that's what I wanted to ask you. Uh, I don't know if it's an off air, but we on air. Way too long. Um, why do you want to do your audio music? Can we talk about that? Yeah, we can. Okay, then let's hold it. Hold it. Because I like, I like to have authentic reactions. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm open to work. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so now. And it's vitamin This? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Four, two years ago, and we had Ty come in and do it. It was it was it was. Ty Pivot. She came in and did it. That's when you were superstar when you were calling by their first name. Not on not on this record. We were Sharon released the record. Oh, this Sharon. Oh, this Sharon. Yeah. All the songs here. No. So did you feature her? No, I I composed it. Sharon wrote it. She wrote an arrangement. Well, we definitely shout out Miss Sharon. Oh yeah. They're in Lagos right now. I saw her say. Oh, yeah, they're in, they're in Africa right now. I love it. Like, when I watch her, I just feel so inspired. I feel like, oh, my God, I can, I can be somebody. <laughs> I can go somewhere. Man. That's awesome. Yeah, so Sharon, Sharon did this one, and then the other three times. Was that last one that um, uh, Marlon? After that, I think the last three you had. Covered, do, and get your clothes on. Mm -hmm. Those are all after Pastor Martin. Oh, Pastor Martin. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to have, um, I'm supposed to have him on too. See, yeah, Marlon, he don't know it. Hey, Marlon. <laughs> <laughs> Look, y'all, share this. I need you guys to share this. Let's get these viewers up. I know it's early. I know y'all work driving. <laughs> I know I got um, I'm going back here like you can hear this. So basically, when I come back on, I'm gonna announce the winner. Okay. You see, I always win. I love you. Um, and then I'm gonna introduce you. And that was Mighty by Sharon Willingham. No. Did yeah. you think about Sharon Ann? Mm -hmm. uh, like Sharon Ann. Like Sharon Ann and Antoine. Antoine. Well, I, you, don't, you don't have to say my name. You can say that I produced it. I'm not a, I'm not. Okay, I'll say produced by Antoine. Like I was saying, you the only show. <laughs> by Sharon Ann. Well, and, and here's Antoine. <laughs> this song, this song is coming. He beastie, okay. <laughs> hey, what are y'all doing here? 27 seconds. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Iberia, and you're locked into Saved in the City, uh, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Oh, my God. We were laughing and talking because that music was amazing. That, that was Sharon Ann, and that song was uh, produced by our own Antoine Reynolds. It's called Mighty, and we're going to talk to him in a few minutes. But shout out to Latia Tillman. I ain't even mad at you, girl. You win everything. But people need to wake up and learn. I give away prizes. <laughs> 
So, Latia, thank you for um, participating in the Word Up Challenge. The scripture that she provided was the easiest one. If you go to church, you should know it. It's Malachi 3 and 10. We'll make sure that we post that right in our group so that you guys can can study and show and show your own self-approved up in here. We need to be in our Word of God a little bit more and, uh, and, and love God a little bit more. But that's what I'm here for, to make sure that I'm here to remind you to get in your Word and to, to just you know, study and learn and learn more about the... Um, the, the benefits that you have um, for being for choosing to be saved. So, oh my God, Antoine, you in the house? How you feeling? I'm good. How are you? Oh my God, yes, you got the radio, but I'm good. <laughs> How are you? I was just honestly, you know, I I, I was saying it kind of jokingly, jokingly saying that I have a superstar in the building, but for real, like honestly, you the the things that you've accomplished musically, you know. Hands, hands out, up, down, all praise, but not to you, to God, then, then you, because you're a vessel. But uh, tell us a little bit about, I mean, you're, you're on as a producer today, mm -hmm. and we had a conversation, I was, and you said you don't, you'll just come as a producer, not an artist. What's that about? Let's start there. <laughs> well, um... Because you're an amazing artist. I saw you. Was it at the Kirk Franklin concert? Summer Fest, you yeah. We did Summer Fest. Tell, why, why do you want to be artist? I'm a, I'm, I'm a perfectionist. Anybody who's ever worked with me as an art, as a producer knows yeah. I'm a perfectionist. Okay. So because I spend so much time producing for other people and working on in ministry, I haven't. I don't feel that I've had the time to really just give myself yeah. to my own work. Um, but I would disagree, but I understand <laughs> I, because I saw him live, and I tell you guys, his, guys, his music was just—it was stellar. It was stellar, and sometimes we can be our own worst critic. But I'm appreciative. Either way you want to do it, I'm satisfied, you know. <laughs> so as a producer, talk about some of the folks that you work with. I know Sharon Ann obviously is one of them. Shout out to Sharon Ann and all the wonderful things you're doing out there. But who else have you worked with and why is that a passion of yours? Um, well, I've worked with Sharon Ann. Sharon, Sharon JB, and I um, are actually co-founders of a production company, Iconic Music. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So um, some of the music that we're going to play today was was. Produced, it was produced and written by the three of us. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's Sharon, uh, under five. Shout out to Carly. Yeah, shout out to Carly. Um, oh, she's um, fire. Tasha Freeman. Uh, you had her on the show. Oh, we had Tasha Freeman. So yeah, then Black Nativity. And then Black Nativity. So with Black Nativity, talk about your role there. You wasn't just playing keys. Well, I was musical director. My just that. <laughs> No, go ahead. My, um, <clears throat> I was musical director. My cousin, my cousin Marquia Stampley, who I love. Shout out Marquia. Oh, I had Marquia. Um, oh, man, Milwaukee small. <laughs> I just had her on. I didn't know that was your cousin. Yeah, that's and not like man. play cousin. Like my mama, her mama's sister. <laughs> yes. Oh, we got so many cousins. Well, yes. just a side note on the cousins. <laughs> I'm not your cousin. Only yeah. because I have so many people that be like, Iberia, hey cousin. And I be like, who your mama? Right. It's all good. Yeah, no, nah, like, I'm. No, nah, y'all for real family cousins. Family dinners. Thank yes, you. come on, Stan, please. So, um, but they, she had, they had Black Arts MKE, mm -hmm. uh, had asked her to direct it earlier this year, like February. Mm -hmm. So she called me and wanted to do, wanted me to musical direct the play. Um, she had an amazing concept, and mm -hmm. so because of it was the, great, I saw. Yeah, thank you. So because of the lateral space that we had with the play, uh, I had to compose arrangements of all of the songs that were in the play. Yeah, um, custom arrangements that were specific to what she was trying to portray uh, in, the, in, yeah. the, in the in the show. So that's awesome. And so, and so with all of the accomplishments that you've had, and I'm going to, you know, just touch on this. This is, if you know Anton, we are, we already know you actually have a, a slight handicap. You, you can't, you're I'm legally, legally blind. blind. Yes. So talk about the challenges, you know, even with that. Well, I don't, I don't, you don't even see it as that. Huh? I, well, I, I've, I've, I've tried to strive to not allow my handicap to handicap me. Come through. <laughs> I, I don't. I never wanted to be that guy who was treated differently because of whatever. Yeah, you know what yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, people who people who take advantage of their handicaps, I think, look are in in some way, shape, or form looking for a handout. And mm -hmm. that's not to say that mm -hmm. that's not to say that mm -hmm. handicaps handicaps don't affect life because they mm -hmm. do. Um, but I want to. I, I I work hard to overcome. Mm -hmm. Whatever, whatever ground I would have lost in my hand again. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. So, were, were you blind from birth? Yeah, or I was born okay. with chickenpox. 
Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I just, I love everybody. Everybody that I have, have on here, have, we all have a personal testimony and a personal story. We all have a different journey. And it all brings us to where we are today. And I've always said this before. Success is is really just based on how bad do you want it we right. all have the same opportunity regardless of what you're born with what you're born without and it's up to you to say okay the life is going to ask you you want success okay how bad do you want it and it's up to you to press through so okay so talk about some of the other songs we're going to be hearing today i know we got get your praise on uh you covered me and then do yeah so shout out to pastor marlon Locke. I gotta have you on the show since I got your music, <laughs> Pastor Marley, and, and the boss Chad Roper. Um, oh, was that what that picture was about? Because there's a picture, and I really wanted to put that up as your picture. But I was like, I don't want you to be by yourself. But it was you and Chad, like chilling on a couch. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And it was like dope, and y'all was like, yeah. Oh yeah, you could have used that one. We um, <laughs> we did the behind the scenes shoot for the for the album. Uh, okay. The Locks, oh, that's album. what that was for. Okay. Uh huh. So. Um, so yeah, when you covered me, I mean, with the, with that whole Unleashed project, uh, Pastor Locke reached out to Chad. It was kind of a it was kind of a prophetic moment. I'll, mm. You had Pastor Locke and Chad on the show. I'll let them tell. Well, that I've story. had Chad. I've had Chad. So now we got to get Pastor Locke. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I said I'll, I'll let them tell that story. Yeah. Um, but when, you know they they connected and then Chad reached out to me and JB, and um, and he was like, "Yeah, I, I need y'all to do the record." And so I love it. We, we've been working, you know, for probably the last year yeah. or so. And just just grinding out and and I think I thing I love about that project is that you know we've we've developed a relationship mm -hmm. uh, past mm -hmm. just the music that and I and I've always said and I, and I tell people all the time great relationships make great music yeah and so when you that's good when, you know because there's a chemistry that has to come from it there's mm -hmm. an authentic chemistry that you can't fake you can't mm -hmm. you know it, it's like you know you, you we've played together yeah we have so she shot if y'all don't know she's a dope bass player I'll let her. Oh wow! Uh, I pray oh. from you, <laughs> hands on. Mm. But you know, there's there's an authenticity and relationship that comes across in music that can't be fake. Mm -hmm. So I, I enjoy the fact that throughout this process, Chad and and I've known Chad all my life. Mm -hmm. Pastor Chad Moore and uh, Pastor Locke have become brothers, yeah, and, and instead of just clients. Yeah, and I think. That's 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 one of the dope parts. Yeah, of yeah. When it's that authentic chemistry. So tell the people how they can stay connected to you and another project you may have coming uh, up. Follow me on Facebook, Antoine Reynolds. I'm on Instagram, Big Tweezy. Hey. Um, <laughs> 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 I did not come up with that name. Come on, me tweezy. That's a high school in my dad's church. Shout out to Joshua. I'm like, that didn't sound holy. <laughs> That's all right. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's what's up. Okay, well, we're going to go to uh, get your praise on. They told me if you got that lined up, let's go. <laughs> That's late. Love you, love you, love you. Awesome. So we gonna play some more music. That's all I got for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, Steve, you own it today. Oh, you composed this one too? Yeah. This one is bad. Okay. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Okay. Dance on hold. I'm okay. Everybody keep doing it. Oh, I'm okay. I do it alone. Oh, you come on over to sing with me. Get your coat off. Treasure. Okay. And we're going to talk, um, yeah, 
I just felt I just this this my I'm pretty sure I'm, I have an actual reward, but this is just my way of just saying I see you. Let's shine some light, and I appreciate all the work that you do. So. Yes. And then I say your how do I say your company name? Um, Muscle Ray Foundation. Foundation. What I'm gonna do, I'm going. What I'm gonna do is turn it over to you, and I'm gonna say. Tell us the organization you work with, and you can say it. So I'm a celebrity. It's a focus today to nonprofit. It's a nonprofit, but we can talk about the other ones as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, I'm gonna let you kind of, kind of guide. We can stay on the nonprofit one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sometimes when you when not when I have it, that's all that you can you you can't he can't say I ain't never asked. <laughs> so oh my God, that was get your praise on. So shout out to Pastor Martin Locke. Oh my God, we have so much more music to go. One day I'm gonna just do an all music show. I, I you know because I I love I love I love I love my music. So um, wow. Uh, and again, shout out to Latia Tillman for uh, winning the Word Up Challenge. Um, Malachi 3 and 10. That's an awesome scripture that you guys need to check out. Now it is time for church announcements. Again, I keep saying it every week, but I am going to get a theme song. I want to be real churchy <laughs> when I say church announcements. And um, oh, also, Antoine, since he's still here, I do need a theme song, theme song for the show. We'll talk. Um, All right. <laughs> I, was just thinking about that. I need so. I mean, as we go and grow, there's so much that, that can be done. Um, all right, so church announcement. So shout out real quick to the Big Easy. Oh my God, they they did it so right for me last night. It's it's my birthday month. Hey hey, shout out to Iberia for it being her birthday. And the Big Easy actually threw me a painting party, which was so so sweet. But these are actually events that you guys can um, you can do private events right there as well. And it's it's African American owned. It's right down on MLK and I think it's Lloyd um, Street. And they do the whole nine yards. Normally, if you go to like a splash and not to just kind of down other uh, places, but if you go to a splash or uh, I think it's a place called Art Arte or Art um, mm -hmm. in Wauwatosa, uh, it's really nice to do those painted paintings, and it costs about thirty bucks. But that's all you get is the painting. But if you if you go down to the Big Easy, you get the painting, the full class, and a buffet. <laughs> like you can't beat that. So definitely shout out to uh, Janice Johnson and Chef Johnson um, over there at the Big Easy. Uh, we love you. We definitely have to have you on the show. Um, and then also there's some other events coming up. For those of you who do celebrate Kwanzaa, um, on, De on Tuesday, December 27th, they're actually having a community African dance class. Kuji Chagalia, self-determination is the work that they'll, they'll be focusing on during that time. And it's from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. And it's free and open to the public. Um, and then also, you know, it's the holiday season. So enjoy time with your family. Sometimes you, you should go out and, and patronize and be with people. And sometimes you need to stay home. <laughs> sometimes you just need to love on the people that are closest to you. So shout out to each and every one of you and your families. Enjoy this beautiful, beautiful holiday. I am so excited to have my next guest in the studio with me. This is a, a, a portion or a segment of the show that we do. It's called Milwaukee Treasures. And it's an opportunity that I take to shine light on someone doing amazing work 
in the city um, or that's living in our city or even if they do work around the world, around the country. We just got, I always say this, I've said this many, many times before, it's an old cliche, give people their flowers while they yet live. You know, we, I mean, we got the funeral uh, homes and, and places like that packed with flowers and they don't always have to be these physical flowers. When I say give people their flowers, that just says, that's just saying, show them love. Say, I see you because I tell you, if they're out there really working in the community, it's not easy work. And you're not always appreciated. So I like to take an opportunity just to appreciate some amazing people in the city. And so today we have Miss Christine with me. And I'm going to allow her to, because I am not, I refuse to mess up the name of our company. <laughs> but Christine, welcome to Saved in the City. Thank you, Averia. Thank I'm you so excited me. to have you on. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your company and the work that you guys do? Thank you. First of all, thank you for having me, and thank you very much. For I know. Show. I, I feel like it's been it. forever since I I've know. seen you, and you are more beautiful than ever. And I, I appreciate. But it's been forever since I've seen you, but I've seen you. You know what I mean? I see you, you doing the work. So yeah, let's talk a little bit about some of the work you do. Thank you. So um, as I very as you said, I'm Christine Thompson Masori, and yeah. with Masori International Investor Business, and I'm also with the nonprofit. Masoric International Foundation, mm -hmm. and also run a school in Tanzania for the underprivileged children called Masoric International Academy. Yeah. So we work in Milwaukee. We're based in Milwaukee, but we also have a sister office in Tanzania. Mm. Uh, we have two branches in Tanzania, Dar es Salaam and in Tarime. Now, you're originally from... Tanzania. From Tanzania. You're originally from Tanzania. Yes. Okay. Is that and obviously is that, that's why your your passion and your heart is still still there to help the, the children over there. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So talk about that because I know you assist orphans and underprivileged uh, children. Talk about that. Well, I, I feel blessed to have the life that I have. I feel blessed to be in the United States, have the opportunity that I have, and I just feel compelled to be able to give back. Mm -hmm. And before I would sponsor children to go to school, uh, send some money, but then I thought the easiest and best way is to offer, give them access to education mm -hmm. opportunity. Because once you do, right. you know, you send them to school, they can become the adults that they're supposed to be and be able to help the community. Absolutely. And so that's what led to the opening of Prince Royce International Academy. Yeah. Academy. No, I love that. It, it just it just made me think about a saying. It says, and I might say it a little wrong, but you guys will get the gist. Um, give a man a fish, they'll eat for the, a day. Teach him how to fish, they can eat for the rest of their life. So in that same breath or that same kind of mindset, it's like, let's teach you education. Let's teach you, you know, um, the skills that you need to be um, successful, you know, in life. And so um, talk about, I know you said that, you know, you were giving, you know, giving the money, you said, I want to do more. Where did that passion kind of come from? Is there something connected in your family or why did you want to help or was it just a, you just saw a need? I, it, it's both. Mm -hmm. It's both. Uh, my mother was an orphan. Gotcha. Raised yeah. with yeah. our own siblings. And so I grew up with my parents raising children and hoping, you know, helping the community. And so I learned that that just became part of life, yeah, my life, yeah, but I'm also yeah. very passionate about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I figured I have the chance, I have the opportunity, why not give back? Because the struggles of the challenge that they have, that could have been me. Mm -hmm. That could have been me. Mm -hmm. And I felt, I feel that we all have a purpose in life, and that's my purpose. So if I can do it, why not? Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. And honestly, you, again, you sparked something else that I was thinking because a lot of times people are in a place in their life, even when they, they become older and they really have no idea what their purpose is. They have no idea what their passion is. And, I, and I, I've told this to people um, before, when you're trying to find your voice, all you have to do is look at your life. And that's why, you know, I didn't know that your mother was an orphan, but generally whenever you're drawn to something, it's because of something that you've seen, that you've endured or something that's connected to you. So for those of you, those of you who are looking and trying to figure out what's my purpose, what 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 should I be passionate about? What is it that stays on your mind that doesn't stay on the minds of other people? You know, it's it's that thing that that may may make you quirky. It's mm -hmm. that thing that you may have um, that may have hurt you along the way, or the pain that you saw a, along the way. We don't go through anything just to go through it. And Would I you totally agree. agree. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I agree with you because another thing, to being a girl, I come from a tribe 
that does not that favors boys more than girls. Wow. And so being a girl and they don't think that we can we should have access to education. Yeah. We should not we should not live life or we wow. should not be leaders. And so I'm determined to change that mm. and seeing the struggle that my mother went through and I want to be able to change that and the fact that I got an education and that we can also do something. We yeah. can also give back. I did not forget the community. I did not get married and forget the community. Yeah. Naturally, I had a choice to get married to who I want to get married to. Yeah. Where they don't. And they don't. Wow. See, we don't always realize how, how I don't want to say how good we have it, but freedom is something else. <laughs> Independent. We might not be happy with Donald Trump in office, but ma'am, I can marry who I want to marry, you know, when it comes down to it. So, uh, Christine, please tell us, how can we support you? How can we help your organizations and the things that you're affiliated with? Well, right now, we are, we've been very blessed, and I thank the Lord for the opportunities for us to be able to connect Milwaukee and Tarima with the sister city. We just officially... Um, it was official on November 7th. Okay, so wow, we wow, wow. The officials here. And so through oh, that amazing. sister city, uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Through that sister city, we plan to, as Masoric International Foundation, to continue to strengthen our programs, yeah. which is the school, women mm -hmm. empowerment, having trips from Milwaukee. Yeah. To Tanzania. I, I, I would love to go. Seriously, I'm not just yeah. saying it because I'm on air, you know, <laughs> you're trying to sound like, no, I really do want to go. <laughs> and I think it's an opportunity. So it's not just for Tarimi, but also for Milwaukee. Like, what could I give back? Because I've been there, I'm here, mm -hmm. and I see mm -hmm. both is home for me. Mm -hmm. And so I want to take what is not Milwaukee, take it there, what's not there to take here, like the sun that most people like, don't like the cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, a student exchange, just giving opportunities for a lot of our kids in Milwaukee don't have that chance yeah, so to yeah. be able to provide that, which goes the same for, for Tarima. So supporting by taking trips or the events that we have, uh, fundraising, like right now we're trying to get a well, a water well at the school for the children also mm -hmm. to have a lot of the girls instead of staying home and not coming to school because they're helping to fetch water walking six miles a day to eight miles wow. having and then our kids them. complain because they don't have the newest video game mm -hmm. you ain't walking to go get water that's my next when they, if the lord bless me with a child that's what i'm gonna say every time they say <laughs> something <laughs> so, so that's how they can support us uh, and thank you for asking that question absolutely it's getting um water to the school and yeah. having the community have access to water and yeah. that will save almost 50 percent reduce 50 percent of the death rates for children wow so it's absolutely so how can they stay connected to you is there a website is there a facebook or yes uh they can follow uh, like us on facebook masoric international foundation you can also call us 414-737-2769 mm -hmm. You can also reach out there. Yeah. Exactly. I was going to say, and just, you know, stay connected to me, and I'll definitely share her information in my groups. Christine, it was an absolute blessing to be in your presence. Thank you so much for being on Saved in the City, and thank you for being our Milwaukee treasure. Thank you for having me. Yes, Daytona, we're ready to go to that next song, You Covered Me, by Antoine Reynolds. Well, produced by Antoine Reynolds. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I mean, oh my God, I just got goosebumps. I'm just thinking about, you know, so he, keep, please keep me updated on what's happening. I would love to support, you know, in all kinds of ways. So Thank you, Oh, Yay. So that's it. Quick, fast. It wasn't nothing. See, see how I couldn't really prepare the questions? I don't know what I'm going to say. I'm just going to say. Okay. 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 So then I, it was easy. Yeah. I don't know questions. Yeah. Because it's the flow. Right. It's the flow. Exactly. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, well, thank you so much for having Absolutely. Having so we'll stay connected. Definitely. Okay, Pastor Cheryl, I need you back. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for staying connected. I know. Yeah. I know. Oh, from a while back, and um, you know, just the fact she's still doing this work is just like, oh, yeah. it's her thing. You just didn't realize until stuff like this happens is what is all going on. And that's, and that's, and that's, honestly, that, that's the platform for me. Yeah. It's just like, I want to oh, like shine light. Like, this is who, these are the people y'all are just connected with. You're right. getting your name on Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Where you go? Oh, yeah. Hi. Can you take one there? Yeah, absolutely. You got about... That's okay. Sorry, Pastor Cheryl. That's okay. I think this is... Oh, that's okay. I think this is... Okay. No problem. I think I need to do that too.
the garbage shop right here? Yep. <laughs> Just as it comes, yeah, yeah, no, yep, fine, yep. yeah. But I've had people before say, well, I, I, I really, you know, as I'm listening, I really want to say, come on, let's say it, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay. I think budgeting with nothing. That would be my issue. And saving. <laughs> save. I don't know why you say what. Right. Let's talk about right, that budget, right. Saving. Yeah. Right. You don't have much or much. Yeah. Oh, and then taxes. Yeah. 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 Ye
the goings of life, you know, being that one that's going through the Sunday newspaper pulling coupons, yeah. you know, making different choices a lot of times affords us yeah. to do some of the things we couldn't do. Mm -hmm. It's money. Money is not necessarily about what you have in your pocket, you know, or what yeah. you bring it in from your job. It's more about a mindset. Yeah. How, what do you think about yeah. it? You know, does money be the, is it the thing that drives you or are you mm. driving it? You know, and where your treasure, where, yes. you, where, your, where, your, where your heart is, where your treasure, treasure is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And is it something that, you know, is this burden in your life that's always mm -hmm. on your mind controlling your thoughts or are you controlling money? Does money have you or do you have the money? I'm getting so, quiet. You want to know yeah. why? Because <laughs> you're in my business. Yeah, see? Because. <laughs> yeah. No, but seriously, I don't know if we can do anything with these mics uh, binging like this. Uh, right. they kinda, but, um, okay. I do. Okay, I'm a, I'm a bit transparent moment, Facebook Live and uh, listeners. I do. I literally, money is on my mind all the time. Right. Right. And and it's because I'm like, okay, how is this gonna work, and how is that? So I don't I don't know how to change that. How do I change that? I mean, the, because honestly, the bills not gonna pay themselves. They aren't. But the Bible tells us to make our requests known. And so, get me together. You know, <laughs> it's God's responsibility to provide for us. And so, instead of looking at the money as being our source of provision, we need to look to God. And so we go to Him and say, okay, Lord. This is something in my heart that you've put in my heart. These are the needs that I have because he promised to supply all our needs. He's concerned about the things that concerns us. So take it to him and let him guide and direct and let him be responsible for meeting your needs. And you go in the peace of God's got me. Yes. Wow. You know what? And sometimes we just need the reminders. We really do. We need so hopefully that bless somebody because yes. that that's that's my that's been my truth. But there are days when I do a lot when I rest in him and every need is met. Right. And I think so, and sometimes we gotta get to the root of what your issue might be, and it might be control. And I can call it out because I did I've dealt with it in the past because we feel like like we don't we don't need them until we need them. Exactly. Oh, I got this guy. I'll let you know when I really need you. But right now, let me go. Let me quick go hurry up pay when we energies bill. When, when if you were to make your request known, right. right? Maybe you wouldn't even have to run over there and do it. Exactly. Maybe exactly. the debt could be wiped out. Exactly. As well as you know, set some parameters and some boundaries yeah. for yourself. This yeah, is yeah, the yeah. Christmas season. Glory to God. We're mm -hmm. celebrating mm -hmm. the birth of mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. So we're mm -hmm. celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. Yeah. We're not celebrating how many gifts we can buy yeah. and, you know, getting under the weight and pressure of, I have this amount of resources, but the kids want this. I got kids who, you know, I understand that, that yeah. pressure of trying to buy the thing that they want. Yeah. And if they don't get it, then they're going to be disappointed. But I set an amount. This is how much. Yeah. I'm not spending over that. I don't care what they're asking for. Yeah. And I've even, we have to, we have to set the expectations for our children mm -hmm. to make your list mm -hmm. and you're going to get Check some. it twice. Right. And then take that part off. Right, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> or we're going to, you know, us, Santa Claus, whoever, whatever your beliefs are, whatever you're yeah, doing with your yeah. kids are going to get some of these things. Yeah, yeah. You're not getting everything on this list. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so, gosh, time flies. But I mm -hmm. want you to touch very quickly on tax season. Yes. You know, and, and McMurtry, McMur McMurtry, McMurtry Financial, I can yes. say it. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys only focus on tax taxes? Do you do um, courses or classes to help people budget? And yes, talk I about do that all yet. of that. Okay. We um, are a full-service accounting firm. So mm -hmm. if you're a small business, nonprofit, need services, we do that. If you, you know, need taxes, then we do that. And um, so we got it all. But what we, um, what I want to just encourage you all for tax season, mm -hmm. number one. Don't spend it don't sp all. Right, right. <laughs> That's First what I want to say. All, file your taxes. Mm -hmm. File them. Yes. Don't try wow. to dodge the How about bullet. start there, yeah. Start there. Make sure you file your taxes and don't wait to the last minute. Yeah. You know, get your records together, file your taxes, go to someone reputable, mm -hmm. someone that like you McMurtry can trust. Like McMurtry Financial. Like McMurtry Financial Services. It's approved. Yes. By Saving City. Go That's ahead. right. <laughs> go to someone you can trust. Sometimes, and I know the H&R blocks of the world, and they do oh, great yeah, work, yeah. but... 
some people have had some challenges. You want yeah. someone that you can sit down with that can help you, can help you get things established and in order for the, mm -hmm. the you know, 2017 mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. So file your taxes and then the refund. Mm -hmm. You know, truth be told, you really don't want a large refund. Yeah. Because what that means is the IRS got more of your money than they needed to, mm -hmm. and they've been holding it, making money off of it, and wow. they're re oh. reimbursing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so getting a big refund isn't the great savings plan. Yeah. You know, it's not yeah. the vacation plan. And then pray and <laughs> ask God about, if I do get a refund, what should I do with it? How about it? Take that. To, we say take it all to him. Right. And right. See, you never see, and when you take it to him, he'll double it. Right, you you know he'll triple that thing. That's so right. yes, that's right. That 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 is your uh, guidance on on today. Oh my God, you know what? And I've said this. I say this every show, and I'm going to keep saying it because there's amazing people that I, that I have opportunity to sit down and talk with. The time flies, and we are. Can you believe we at the end of the show? Too fast. <laughs> Too, Too fast. fast. So I, I definitely am going to make sure that I put your information um, in our, our group so people can stay connected to you. But yes. you are on Facebook and on where Facebook. else? Facebook. Yeah. I have a website. If you just put in McMurtry Financial Services, you'll find me. Instagram, anything. Twitter. So just... And she everywhere you want to be, everywhere you every, everywhere you should be. That's right. That's right. <laughs> exactly. So they tell me we're gonna go to one more song. We'll be back with your kingdom solution. Sharon was actually featured um, on there as well. I don't, if y'all haven't seen that video, I adore. I love it. They're all dressed in their um, country kind of cowboy attire. We can have fun in the church. We don't. We don't always have to do everything the the way, the traditional way, and we can still reach people. Oh my God! Can you guys believe we're at the end of the show? I I, I I'm telling you, every week I'm like. That was an hour. Maybe I need one more. But oh my God, I've had some amazing, amazing guests on the show. But now it's time for your kingdom solution. Anybody who's tuned into Saved in the City know, know knows the premise of the show. But just in case this is your first time, Saved in the City, um, we provide kingdom solutions to real world issues. So it's just everything that's going on in the world from a Christian girl's perspective. And then I have many different guests that kind of come on and we talk about all kinds of stuff that you know that we're dealing with. 
And sometimes it can get a little sticky. Sometimes it can be a little controversial, but it's happening in our world. And I want to make sure that you, you, we have an outlet and a platform to be able to get the things that are in our heart out um, to each of you. So anyway, this, this week's topic was money, 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 because it's been on my mind a lot. A lot of that times the things that I'm talking about are things that are on my, my heart. And I know it's on your heart, especially during the holiday season, especially during um, with tax season kind of coming up. I don't need you guys to be eating steak in January <laughs> and then come March you'll be back at, at ramen noodles you know but shout out to ramen noodles you know but <laughs> you can eat steak all year long if you budget if you write the vision if you tithe and so here's a couple scriptures for you guys to ponder on um, uh, Matthew 6 and 21 says for where your treasure is there your heart will be also where is your heart Where's your treasure? I need you to think about that. And and that's where, you know, when we begin to take those inner looks, that's how we're able to begin. Until we can deal with our authentic self behind the mask, we can never get true healing, even in our finances. And then, of course, Malachi 10 says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. If you in church, you know this scripture, <laughs> that there may be food in my house. And this is my favorite part where it says, test me in this. That's, like, that's God speaking and saying, test me in this this says the Lord Almighty and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it how amazing is that God wants to give you money finances influence overflowing but we got to tap into it we got to tap into him. We got to tap into the benefits that he has for us. So anyway, guys, oh my God, I never want to leave you. So just make sure you come back next Wednesday, each and every Wednesday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Keep it locked on 101.3 FM or follow me on Facebook. I will definitely be there. Until next week, be encouraged and I love you. Yes, any minute. And I'm just like, oh, hi guys. <laughs> <laughs>